Hello Year 4, welcome to today's Book Week lesson. I hope you've been enjoying Book Week and the green ship so far. Today we're going to read on a bit more and then we're going to have a go at making some collages. Yesterday we saw all sorts of places around the world where they've been voyaging on the green ship. Let's see what happens next. The next day was the last full day of our holiday and it was agreed that we should stay overnight at the big house. The weather was hotter than ever and everything was absolutely still. And then, after tea, the sky suddenly turned a strange colour and large drops of rain began to fall. There's going to be a storm, said Mrs Tredgar. Come on, crew, into the wheelhouse. Well, yeah, it does look very dark, doesn't it? Look, Mrs Tredgar looks, she looks a little bit worried. A huge warm wind blew through the garden. Mrs Tregger took the wheel. What would the captain have done, she said. Steer into the eye of the storm, that's it. Steer into the eye of the storm. Ah oh, yes, look. The wheelhouse, that must be that little cabin on the ship. I wonder if they can all fit in there all right. Mrs Tregger taking the wheel. Steering into the eye of the storm. And what a storm it was. There were huge claps of thunder. Lightning crackled across the whole of the sky. See them there hiding. The purple and the browns and the blacks of the storm. It does look like a very fierce storm, doesn't it? The swaying of the lantern and the rain rushing against the windows made it seem as though we were truly at sea and the storm seemed to go on forever. Wow, see how the masts are bent backwards in the wind and see the rain lashing across the page. I wonder how it would feel to be in a boat in a storm like this. Have any of you ever been in a huge storm? Or seen or heard thunder and lightning? Can you imagine how they're feeling with the rain really smashing against their windows, hiding in their little cabin? I wonder if the cabin is, is really steady or if it's swaying in the wind. So today, year four, we're going to have a go at making a collage based on these very stormy pictures. So first we need to think a little bit about Quentin Blake's illustrations. And that will help us with our pictures. So do you remember yesterday we looked at the colours in, that he used in his illustrations? And he had lots of pinks and yellows and colours that really brought out happy feelings and calm. What colours is he using here? He's got lots of grey and black and sort of dark greeny blue, hasn't he? What about this one? Oh yes, this one's got lots of purples in it that really show the stormy clouds, don't they? I wonder why Quentin Blake put both these illustrations in. This one here with the lightning and then this one here, that's much darker, isn't it, with the rain and the wind. Why do you think he did both? I wonder if it might be to show the progression of the storm and the different stages of a storm, maybe. I wonder what sort of things, these pictures, what do they make us think we might be able to hear? I suppose you might hear the wind whistling. Or the rain maybe the crackle of the lightning. Which of these pictures has a bigger impact on you? Do you enjoy more the lightning and the purple sky? Or do you like this sort of dark and I find it a bit more terrifying, this one, very serious, isn't it? it shows us how 
The storm felt like it was going on forever. Find out your book, your version of the green ship, and have a really good close look at these, these two illustrations. And now we're going to start thinking about our stormy collages. Okay, so we are going to have a go at making some collages of the storm. So in the book that you've got at home, have a really good look and decide what aspects of the different pictures you really like. Do you like the lightning? Do you like the cabin, the ship? Do you want to have a ship in there? Do you like the rain or the way that you can see the ship blowing in the wind? And think about the different colours and what colours you might like to have in your, in your collage. And then, eventually, we'll have something, this is my one, that looks a little bit like this. I've chosen to have the ship and the lightning and the purple clouds. Yours might be completely different to mine and that is absolutely brilliant. All of your ideas are going to be awesome. Before we get started, I'd like you to click the link in the description and listen to Benjamin Britten's The Sea Interludes piece of music that's linked there. And think about how this music represents a calm sea becoming a really stormy one. How does the music make you feel? Does it inspire you to make your collage a certain way? Which part of the song do you like the most? Do you like the calm or do you like the build-up and the chaos? Pause the video now and have a listen. In your packs you will have a slippery fish full of different materials for your collage that our lovely Mrs B put together for us. Thank you Mrs B. So find that out and have a look at the different colours and the different materials that you've got that you might want to use for your collage. Now you've listened to the music and had a think about what you want to do, you're going to need a piece of paper, obviously, to start with. And you don't have to do this, but I wanted to do a little bit of a, of a quick sketch of what I wanted to do and write some of the colours in. So I've just drawn the, the ship, the green ship there, and I've written blue because I'm going to do it in the blue paper and I'm going to do some bushes on the side and I'm going to write green in them. If you do want to do a bit of a sketch underneath, don't worry at all what it looks like. It can be totally rough and sketchy because it will be completely covered over anyway. It's just to help you if you've got some ideas. And you also need either print stick or maybe some PVA glue. And to get started, if you've got paint at home, you could paint um, the sky like we did with our Mount Vesuvius collages, do you remember? Or you can do like me and you can do it all out of paper. So to start, I'm going to start with the sky and I'm going to make it totally black, a bit like in this illustration to start off with and then build colours on top. So I'm going to start with this black paper and just start sticking it onto my collage. Just put some glue on there and just going to start sticking the paper down, building up my collage. Okay, so I've done the first layer of the black paper and now I'm going to change to this tissue paper which is slightly thinner and has a bit of a different texture so that I think it will help show the movement and the chaos of the storm. So I'm going to continue now, Just I'm just putting glue on and then sticking the bits down, just like that. doesn't have to be very perfect. You can rip them up as you go. And you can see all of my sketches and ideas underneath are disappearing. So it doesn't matter if you've drawn some and you didn't like the way that they looked or you want it to be different now. So now all the black is done, it's really starting to look like night time. Do you remember at the sides I wanted to do some bushes? blowing around in the wind, a bit like in Quentin Blake's illustrations here. So I'm going to take some green paper and add that on on the sides. Just put it straight on top just to show the crazy bushes on both sides. 
Are you going to have some trees and different bushes on your on your collages? I really like the different shapes and sizes of the of the tissue paper all torn up makes it look quite chaotic and crazy. So now I'm going to have a go at doing the ship. On there, I've written blue so I can remember. So that's good. And I've got two different types of blue here. And I think blue is a good colour because you can see here in the illustration that the ship is kind of in the shadow and it's not green anymore. I don't want it to be bright green like this. So I think dark blue is a good kind of shadowy colour. So let's start adding on some different blue bits. I'm going to use this tissue paper here and start adding it on to the funnels there. And I might... Yes, I've torn out some long, thin bits that look like the masts blowing in the breeze. So I'm going to add those on. Maybe you want to tear out some masts as well. Remember, we have to be a little bit like Flash, the persevering tortoise here. Sometimes it might be a bit fiddly or you might change your ideas. But you can just keep working on it until it is how you like it. I did this bit blue at first, even though I'd written silver in there and decided I didn't like it. So I'm going to go back to my original idea and do that for the cabin. I might even draw in some people on there later. Okay, now let's go back to the illustration. I'm going to think about the lightning. So can you see here where the clouds are sort of purple and pinkish and bluish? And if you think about if you've ever seen lightning before, it does sort of light up the sky, doesn't it? And create those, those different colours. So I'm going to think about where I want my lightning to be. And I'm going to add some blue and purple clouds sort of around where I want the lightning to strike. I'm going to take different bits of blue, maybe some different bits of purple, and just add them on so that they look like the clouds being lit up. And then we'll add in the lightning as the final bit time to do some lightning. So, as you can see in the illustration here, the lightning, it's not just one straight line, it's lots of little jaggedy lines. You could just do yours as one straight line, however you wish, but with this silver paper that we've got, I realised that if you try and tear it that way, it sort of doesn't tear. But if you tear it down, it tears into really long strips that might be really good to use as lightning. So I'm just going to tear it into these little pieces and make sort of jagged forked lightning in the sky on top of my purple and blue clouds and it's going to go really randomly all over the place like lightning does. It's kind of trying to make a bit of an electric feel in the sky. Okay. There we go. There's my Quentin Blake green ship inspired stormy collage. I cannot wait to see yours. I hope you'll bring them and show them to us on the Zoom cameras. And please keep hold of them. And you can bring them into school next week. And we're going to put them up on display on the, on the book corner. It's going to be fab. Oh, and I drew in some little people in, in the cabin. I don't know if you saw. Maybe you would like that to do that too. Well done, year four. Super excited to see your creations. On Zoom today, I would really like for us to have a go at making a soundscape of a storm all together, where each one of us makes a different noise that represents a part of the storm, and we all make the sounds at the same time so that we sound like a storm. Maybe you would make you could make a noise with your voice, maybe with your hands, or with an instrument, or with a thing. It could be made with anything. Look at these pictures. What kinds of noises might there be? There might be whistling wind through the trees. Can any of you whistle? Maybe a plastic bag might rustle and that might sound like all the leaves rustling together. Or maybe some tapping that could be rain. Or a banging of a saucepan could be part of the ship banging together or a creaky door. Or maybe even a bottle of water sloshing about that shows the sea. Bring your ideas to Zoom later and we'll have a go together.